three cards, points A, P, Q and B lie on the same straight line such that P, Q and B are respectively 100 kilometers, 200 kilometers and 300 kilometers away from A. And it looks like this. So A is here, B is here and then P and Q are in the middle. And so that part is not explicit. B is farthest away, 300 kilometers. P and Q are 100 kilometers away. They lie on the same straight line. I'm going to assume that they are in this order. In 100 kilometers, 200 kilometers, 300 kilometers. I'm going to assume that P and Q are in between A and B. It seems like a reasonable assumption. So P is 100 kilometers from A. Q is 200 kilometers from A. So this is 100. B is 300 kilometers from A. So this is another 100. Cars 1 and 2 leave A at the same time and move towards B. So C1 and C2 move towards B. Simultaneously, car 3 leaves B and moves towards A. So C1 goes, C2 goes, C3 comes, C3 comes this way. Car 3 meets car 1 at Q. So here, C1 and C3 meet. And car 2 at P. So car 2 and car 3 meet at P. Wonderful. So think about this. Car 3 reaches this point and then moves further to meet car 2 here. So car 1 is traveling quicker than car 2. So car 1 meets car 3, then car 2 meets car 3. And so C1 to C3, when car 3 travels 100, car 1 travels 200. So ratio of speeds C1 is to C3 is 2 is to 1. C2 is to C3. When C2 travels 100, C3 has traveled 200. C2 to C3 is 1 is to 2. We need to find C2 is to C1. That's it. So car 2 to car 3 is 1 is to 2. Fine. Car 1 to car 3 is 2 is to 1. We want to find car 2 is to car 1. So just this 2 is to 1 can be written as 4 is to 2 or the ratios are 1 is to 4 is to 2. Car 2 to car 1 is 1 is to 4. This is the answer. Right? These two meet here. Ratio of the speed is 2 is to 1. These two meet here. Ratio of the speed is 1 is to 2. So once you know the ratio of the speeds between 1 and 3 and 2 and 3, you can find the ratio between 2 and 1. Very simple question. We don't need a heavy duty speed time distance. We're just simply thinking of it as ratios, nothing more than that.